um, we didn't have a long-term goal of where would we be in five years, or it was simply trying out a program that would give us some operational feedback on the day-to-day -day interaction we had with our clients. Uh, and I think that's, that's part of, of the reason why we sit here today and we have to reinvigorate the whole program, because there wasn't a plan. It was just taken step by step. We started out in the business unit and, and did a pilot that then turned into a whole UK program that then led into covering EMEA and APAC as well. So it's always been on the go. So everything has been planned on the go. So when I took over the program last year, there wasn't a grand plan. There wasn't kind of this huge roadmap of where we should take this. And also meant that we, haven't, we, we didn't have the progress that we, where we could have we could have had if we had put down a plan and said this is where we want to be in five years, this is where we need to have we need to have this level of adoption into the business in five years. But we didn't have that. Um, so there was kind of a, a journey but but no end goal, no 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 end station where we should get to. Um, and, and that definitely caused some issues around around um, the journey we were on. Because we weren't able to we weren't able to get the engagement that we needed. We weren't able to, to kind of get um, the level of, of uh, adoption. We weren't able to, to get um, uh, frontline people to, to commit to it because it was just an annual measurement, nothing else. So it was an annual overview of where we were, but no targets. We didn't have, let's say, you know, this year our MPS is that, next year we want it to be that. There was no target setting at all. So we, we were just on a journey with no, no end station.